second, the second corner is a right turn at uh, Whitby. And, and you'll be looking for Sarah. Sarah will be on that corner. That's the right turn. And that's it. It's one road all the way to Conk Bar. That's it. There's no more turns. If you make a turn, you made the wrong turn. I can't help you. All right? Incredible, outrageous, hysterical, fun. It was uh, it was the one of the best experiences I've had in my existence in Turks and Caicos. We pulled off a bike race, not only a bike race, but a rally consisting of men and women, uh, 50 miles on North and Middle Caicos. And most of these people are from Provo. Our objective is to get this to grow. This is the one, the first one. We needed to kick it off uh, next year. We're hoping to start another one around February, and then the Conk Bar Rally will come back in again uh, with the Midnight Madness. But to get this kicked off, to get the participation that we did, we have two international sponsors, Trek Bikes and Scott Bikes, which, which are two of the biggest bike distributors in the world. They were our major bike uh, sponsors. Um, Keiko Cyclery, um, Island Water Sports, we've got Kevin's, Kevin's group, run for fun. which is run for fun. Yeah. Um, just the everybody came together to make this thing work. It was it was great. Yeah. Have with a time of three hours, eleven minutes, twenty nine seconds, tenth place overall, Lynn Robinson. Woo! Oh. Oh, well, uh, Kath and I did the Middle Caicos Midnight Madness run, started at midnight um, this morning, 33.3 uh, miles, and neither of us at that point knew whether we were going to do the bike race, but kind of, we thought we probably would, and so we'd brought our bikes uh, just in case. So uh, we finished the run a lot quicker than we anticipated, so we managed to get a little bit of rest, not too much, and, uh, and that was the longest furthest I've ever biked in my entire life and I am now ready to sleep. <laughs> do you plan to do the same thing next year? You know I think we probably will we're talking about maybe doing the run doing the bike and then maybe kayaking back to Provo. With a time of two hours 53 minutes four seconds Courtney Teresi. <laughs> So I'm on vacation here, so I found out about the race a couple of days ago and just decided that um, it was a great way to spend my vacation, get out and do some active stuff. Um, I cycle a lot at home, I uh, go to Flywheel, which is a spin gym in, in Seattle, um, and so I just wanted to come out and have a good ride and be safe, and I was fortunate to, to come in second and had a great day. and. It was a lot of fun and great to come out here and, and meet some new people. Finishing second overall, first in the women's category, with a time of two hours, 26 minutes, nine seconds, Kat Jadot. Yeah. Well, I just finished the ultra marathon the night before, so I wasn't really motivated to do the race but Lynn was doing it so I couldn't let Lynn do the race and me not doing it so I decided to do it anyways. I'm very very happy and I think I'm very thankful that I could draft the guys you know and stick to their wills. 
uh, really what helped me to stay in the, the, in the lead. With a time of two hours, 32 minutes and six seconds, Dan Redmond. Yeah, Dan! All right. All right. Dan! All right, second place men's road category. With the time of, actually, this, this person actually ran, did 52 miles, honorable mention, by deviating twice. With the time, and still made it second place. A time of two minute, two hours, 26 minutes, and 39 seconds, Stefan Messonnier. Well, it was a great race. We had a lot of fun. Great uh, happening, and uh, thanks to Dan for having uh, the lead for a good while of it. And uh, overall, we had a lot of fun. The strategy, my strategy, was to uh, just stay behind for a bit, lead for a bit, and uh, keep the, uh, the race for the end, uh, the sprint for the end. So that was my strategy. It did work well. Um, I couldn't really uh, locate in my head where I was at the end, uh, uh, where I was compared to the finish line. So I guess I took my, uh, my sprint a little too early and uh, Sushi uh, Gushi <laughs> took advantage of it and uh, finished first. And he, he's a very strong man. I congratulate him very nicely. So yeah, it was, uh, we had a lot of fun. Very uh, well organized for the first race and I look forward for next year. Anyway, with a time of two hours, 25 minutes, 32 seconds, Yoshi Ono. Woo! You know, I've been riding a couple of times a week for, for this race and uh, well, I really appreciated the Keiko Cycle, especially the DAG that happened this great event, especially the North Keiko, so it's, I know it's not easy to organize everything. So, you know, a lot of people showed up and um, I, I think I just got luck and to get the first place, I'm really happy for this and hopefully next time soon and hopefully I can get another one. Uh, I really appreciate it and the sponsor and then Doug and Keiko Sakri. Thank you so much. Sports. These are the best roads in Turks and Caicos. They're uh, lightly populated with vehicle traffic. Uh, the support is tremendous between the police department, the administrative departments, uh, the volunteers. Uh, Sarah, I'd like to mention Sarah at Middle Caicos Co-op and Daniel's Cafe. She was a tremendous help and uh, it was just, it was great to see a community come together for an event like this. Uh, well, you couldn't call it insanity, but when, when we say Midnight Madness, people, people always look at me like, eh, you know, but hey, someone's got to do it. And so we're doing it. Like I said before, uh, on TV and on radio, and you talk to anyone over 60, 65, maybe 70 here, this was a normal thing for them. Walking from Laramus, I learned how to pronounce it, <laughs> you know, to Sandy Point. So that, that's, that's no big deal. But the two ladies that uh, did it this time, they're phenomenal ladies. In fact, I'm going to go on record and say they're beasts because not only did they lower the time, the original time by an hour, but then they turned around, rests for two hours, and then bikes for 50 miles. And one of them, yeah, absolutely one fantastic. Of them came in second overall, yeah, overall in the bike race. Yeah. She ran 34 miles. Yes, broke the speed record on that one yeah. from last year. Yeah. yeah, and then came and ran, biked 50 miles, yeah. and did this yeah. second overall. So it, it, it's impressive. It's impressive, and uh, this is a learning, a big learning curve for us. It's the first time we're doing it, so some things we're gonna tweak next year, and one of the biggest things we're gonna tweak next year is before the run, uh, Midnight Madness, and before the Kong Bar Rally, we're gonna actually have clinics. We're gonna have two clinics in north, two clinics in middle, and we're gonna go out for 10 mile um, runs, we're gonna go out for 20 mile rides, and so we're gonna get the word out to the community, and we're gonna get them involved.